Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Wanted to jump on today and do a fun little um, summer inspired um, project using Maggie Holmes Sunny Days along with um, some Maggie Holmes like the open book frames. We are going to be making some little Polaroid shaker frames and here is one I made earlier. I think it turned out super cute and it's using acetate and I love the colors and I just love how it how it turned out they make cute and fun little embellishments so I thought I'd try this time with these um, really sort of thick chipboard um, Polaroids, which I found in like my Maggie Holmes stash. So these come from the open book collection. But um, like I was saying before, you don't actually have to use these. If you have any other type of um, sort of like frames or Polaroid frames in your collection, you can use those. Or you could use like what I used with this piece here and it's actually a cut apart so you can actually buy cut aparts that look like Polaroids as well but I thought I'd see how I go with these ones I'm not too sure how I'll go with um, my sewing machine through these considering they're quite thick but um, yeah we'll see how we go we're gonna try something a bit new and different and yeah I haven't stitched through chipboard like this before so it's either going to work or it's not. <laughs> so I'll just pop my frames aside. So I've already picked out two that I really liked and I thought went really well with the Sunny Days collection. I've also just grabbed the um, 6x8 paper pad and just picked out a couple of patterns in here that, that I liked. I find that it's a good way to use um, your patterned paper that's, that's quite busy. So I have chosen this one here with all the different sort of beachy images and then this one here with the blue with the like the girls swimming which I think is really cute and then you're just going to need some um, pink acetate I've chosen this sort of um, light pearlized sort of one this time instead of the darker one so you'll be able to see um, some of the imaging behind as well as the, um, the gorgeous sequins and this is just some leftover acetate that I have left from the Basil Basics um, Mylar um, in I think it's like pearl rose so first things first I need to measure out actually so I've decided I'm going to go with this patterned paper with the green because I thought the blue with the green would be just a bit too much doesn't really go so I thought I'd go this one here so I just need to outline the edges so I know how big I will need my paper and the same for this one as well so I'll just grab um, a pen and just mark where I need to um, cut it so that should give us a good outline there and then this one as well So now we can cut our pieces. So I'm just going to go straight across. Okay, so there's our first piece there. I'll pop that aside. Don't want to get my pieces mixed up. 
and then we have this one here. So okay, I'm just gonna go straight across. Is our second piece so let's pop this aside actually we need to cut out our acetate so while I've got that out let's worry about that so I'd say that's pretty good right there should cover I'm just gonna leave a little bit you know hanging out to the sides just in case um, let me see because because then once we've stitched it so let's go that and let's check sizing for this one Sometimes I don't push, you know, down hard enough. Sometimes you just need to trim it, but that's fine. There we go. So, doesn't always have to be perfect. I just trim that excess off with my scissors. And let's check. So that is the perfect size. I just need to then trim off that bottom piece there. I basically measure, you know, with my fingers. And then that should be It's not too bad that. All right, let me just check how that will cover. So it looks like I just need to take a little bit off the top there. I'm also going to take a little bit off the top of um, the paper as well. So let's go with it being there. And then that should be perfect. But it doesn't matter if it's not as well, guys. So let's just see. Yep, that is. Really good. I might just trim a tiny bit off the side as well. Just to... Because we don't have anything sticking out. Okay. All right, so there's our first one. Already looking pretty good. And then we have this one here. Let me just see what I need to take off this one. Maybe a little off the side. And a little off the top. And 
a little bit down the side as well. Okay, so that fits perfectly. I'll just trim a little bit off here. Perfect for me. All right, took a while to get there, but you'll be able to see. to the sequins need to decide what sequin mix um, to do okay so I thought I'd go with this gorgeous sort of sequin mix here so it's sort of almost like your ocean bluey green like aqua color some sparkly pink some paler green and then I'm going to pick out a few um, seashells out of this pack here Sure that's clean. sometimes how much you know you want to pop in your mix so I'm just guessing I don't want to overdo it with some of the colors some of the shells and maybe some of the circular um, actually some of the little beads I think work really well maybe some of these pieces here That's really pretty. There we go. Just clean up my sequins. Okay, so there's our gorgeous sequin mix there. So pretty. The light isn't doing it any justice. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now off camera is I'm actually going to stitch down the side, down the bottom, down the side, and I'm going to leave the top piece open to pop some sequins in. And I'm going to do that with both. I'm not popping the frame on yet. I thought it would be much easier um, to stitch down the sides of the paper and acetate first, so then we can do our sequin shaker first. And then if my sewing machine won't stitch this Polaroid on, we can try gluing it down. So... I'm just going to jump off camera because my sewing machine doesn't fit in frame and all you hear is just the noise of the sewing machine. You can't actually see anything. So I'm just going to stitch these up and yeah. 
Now, one thing I was going to say too is that if you're worried that your acetate or your project is going to move while sewing, just um, add like a little paper clip or something to stop it from, from moving while you're sewing. Okay, so I've done my stitching down the sides and the bottom there. And I've just left a gap up the top. We can add our sequins. Try not to do too much because I don't want it to sort of take over. In there, maybe a little more in here. A bit more pink. All right. So now I'm just going to stitch the top piece up. Okay, so we now have our shaker pockets. Just trim the excess cotton off. Sure, sometimes some of the shells, you know, can get stuck around. Gorgeous. Lots of pretty pieces in there. All right, so we have our two acetate shakers so question is will they stitch will my chipboard stitch through it so we are about to find out so this is either going to work or it's not guys so I don't know if I'm going to break my needle if it doesn't I can use my hot glue gun to stick it so you don't always need you know a sewing machine I just thought it'd be easier than using my hot glue gun because I'm really messy with a glue gun like really messy so it's much easier for me to sew than it is to use a hot glue gun so I'm just using some um, clips to hold it into place like I said I'm not too sure how this is going to go in my sewing machine um, so yeah we'll find out it's all about trying new things and yeah testing and if it doesn't work it doesn't work we can just try and figure something else out I think that's what crafting is all about you know doing things you don't usually do and all right okay so I'm really happy that ended up working <laughs> working out for me you didn't make me look silly on camera <laughs> so I just had to stitch really um, like fast and sort of hard um, it did move a little bit on me but you know what I think that's okay so I just need to trim a little bit down the side there because it moved slightly on me but I'm really happy with um, with how that's um that's turned out guys super pretty and cute just need to um yeah just trim down the sides a little bit it should be easy There we 
this one. And two, there's a little bit of shine showing there, but I think that's okay. So now the decorating part. Let's grab out some um, some sunny days and just decorate the Polaroids up a little bit. So I have my stickers. So I do like this umbrella. I think that could work quite cute in the background there. Get my bone folder. And let me see what else we maybe want to use. I don't know if I want to use a floral piece or not. I think that might be too much. I do like this stalk. I think the stalk is quite cute. What I've got. I love this gorgeous bike. I don't know if it's too big or not though. I think it might be too big. These um these bathers are quite cute. Do something like that. That's from the chipboard stickers. Have an ice cream. Nope. Look on the sunny side, that's too big. So we sort of want lots of um, sort of smaller pieces, I guess, not pieces that are too big because you don't want to take it away from the actual, you know, um, sequin acetate shaker. I think I might, I just need a word there and a couple of little tiny cute embellishments for that one. And this one, just trying to figure out what I want to do with, with this one here. So I have this chipboard word here, it says sun-kissed. I think that could look quite cute. Sun-kissed and then it says lovely and then we can include a few little like enamel dots. I think that umbrella needs to be moved up a little bit though because you can't really see it there in the background. good thing about these um, stickers and working with acetate is they're quite easy to remove without tearing or leaving a horrible you know mark um, don't know how high up I want to go do something like that and then that yep all right so that works move my sequins down so they're not in the way Feel a bead, a bead in there. Okay, so we need to grab some foam um, adhesive foam squares to stick to the edges. Add 
some adhesive foam on each side. I'm going to figure out how high that actually works. All right. So I only need to do one layer with this one for the moment. Push down. I'm already happy with how this one is turning out. We just need to um, add a few little other cute embellishments. And I'm wondering, we could probably also include like a tassel or something or a charm onto the end of this as well. I think that could work quite cute. And let's um, yeah, figure out how to decorate this one as well. But first, just grab my pom-poms and just see um, whether I want to use these or not. Just take a couple out. Turn on my glue gun just in case we need that. up on me yesterday so I don't know how well that's going to work for me is add pom pom there and a pom pom there I think and then maybe we could pop something over here at some point so now let's just focus on this one I'll leave that there for now while I know I want that um, I might not even want this stalk I don't know it just depends um, I could probably even attach one of those cute bows onto this as well Just working with um, my chipboard pieces now just to see okay I think I like let's get a foam dot foam square so I want that about there And then I thought the sunny days bow, maybe we could pop the sunny days bow up the top here to cover that way. So, oh, that looks really cute. Yeah, I'm quite happy with with that and this one I thought maybe a bigger bigger pom-pom than this you know a little one like maybe there and do I want to add a pom-pom to here um, let's just have a look because it does need I think a pop of color Oh. 
Sorry guys, a bit undecided again of what I want to do, which is what happens all the time with me. Oh, I want to put a fun pom-pom on the bird's head. <laughs> I don't know, let me just check my glue gun. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right. Let's just stick down this if I can. The glue gun is now hot. I'm going to do it right there in the middle. And then I'm going to do oh, another one down here. Like a slightly bigger pom-pom. That's quite cute. All right. Okay. I don't know if you guys think that's probably enough. Let me just find my bling stickers. Maybe we need, maybe that's what we need. Just some bling on here to make it sparkle. I'm running out of the, um, like all the pretty colours. See, I love these sort of pretty colours, but I don't know if that'll... Work or not. Actually, yeah, that's really pretty. I think I'm going to stick with um, bling stickers on this one, pom poms with this one. Um, I don't want to use bright pink. No. All right, I think we are done with those. I think they turned out really cute. And sometimes I end up adding more. It just depends on how I feel at the time and what I can come up with. But yeah, I'm quite happy with, with how those have turned out. I really like how this one turned out actually once I popped those two little shimmery pieces on there and that bow up the top I think they turned out to be really cute so I hope this has you know inspired you guys to create some summer um, themed mail I know it's not summer you know in other parts of the world but it is summer here and you know summer I find summer and warm weather is like happiness and I love all the bright colors and the greens and the pink and I just think they turned out really pretty so I hope you guys enjoyed this um this project and yeah if you don't have a sewing machine um you could always try using um like I said just hot glue to attach everything instead of using a sewing machine so um, there's always, you know, other ways to do things without, you know, having certain tools. Even if you had a fuse fuse tool, that could probably work too. But as I was saying, I could have just easily have um, glued glued these chipboard frame pieces down. But I'm not the best with a glue gun. My hand gets um, extremely shaky. So, um, yeah, uh, I feel like I need something else here, but I can't think of anything for the moment. So... I might just um yeah leave that leave that as it is for now and um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you all again soon thanks for watching and thanks for all your support bye